Let's take a look now at how Element Time helps you manage people. First and foremost, there's a dashboard in Element Time. And the dashboard will give you a quick synopsis of the foreman who didn't complete a timesheet and when the last time they did complete one was, which jobs are exceeding the estimated hours, your, your worst jobs basically. And down here you can see the timesheet submitted and started yesterday, the average hours per employee yesterday, and which employees worked the most hours yesterday. On the right hand side here, I'm getting a live activity feed. I can see all the different clock in and clock outs of my different crew members and what they did when they were there. Going to the edit time screen, it'll show me all my crew's timesheets and whether they've been approved or under review, they've been just submitted by the foreman, or whether they're currently in progress. Here, your office managers can actually open any employee's timesheets and make corrections if necessary, or we can do our approval process. There's actually another screen called Approve Time, which makes this approval process even easier. The Approve Time screen shows all the timesheets that were submitted. So any foreman who submitted their timesheet yesterday is gonna show up on this screen here. Now, if I see this red pencil over here, my office administrator knows the foreman has made a manual change to one of their times on the timesheet. And that's when you should click the audit button. The audit button is gonna show your office manager what time the crew said they clocked in, but what time it really was in real life. And it's pulling that information from the phone. So here we know that this foreman said they clocked in at 7.48 a.m., but it was really 2.48 p.m. when they filled out their timesheet. Clicking the maps button will show me exactly where the foreman stood when they filled out their timesheet. So we're gonna know when and where they were when they said they were there. If your timesheet doesn't have a red pen, you can be certain the foreman didn't make any manual changes. And now I can just review start time, end time, total hours for the day, whether or not they took lunch and for how long, and what tasks they spent their day on. If this is good, I'm gonna hit approve, and that timesheet will be ready for payroll. There's other few things that make payroll easier, including time warnings, which will go out and look for specific warnings on timesheets. For instance, Jana here is getting a warning that she skipped her lunch on this timesheet. And so I wanna make sure that before I approve that timesheet, I'm, I'm okay with the fact that they skipped their lunch that day. Under the payroll warning screen, I can pick a pay week and it'll go out and generate warnings for any specific pay week. It's gonna look for things like employees working too many hours in a day or employees who didn't actually show up on a timesheet. For instance, if I open January 5th here, I'm gonna see that these six or seven employees all worked more than 10 hours in a day. And I've set a warning flag in my settings to say, warn me if any employee works over 10 hours in a day. You can set that to whatever you want. Jason Smiley here is getting a warning that he hasn't been present on any timesheet. So maybe he got forgotten or maybe he was on vacation, but at least we know we need to remember him. Staying on top of staff is also done by knowing where they are and where they're working. The where are they screen is gonna go out and find the current locations of all staff, whether they've been clocked in, where they were last clocked in, and what foreman they're working under. And again, I can click the map button to see where they were when they clocked in. The daily dashboard is gonna give you a live view, especially for maintenance snow of crews and as they've worked throughout the day. So if I open David Cross here, I can see David started at this school at 532 and was there till 621. Then he worked from 621 to 834 at the next school. Then he was doing a gas bar at 834. So I'm getting a live play-by-play -play overview of where this crew was throughout, in this case, the night or the morning plowing snow. And I can stay on top of it so that if I get a call from my customer wondering where our crews are, when they're gonna get there, or whether they've even been there yet, we can quickly pull this up to see where everybody's been and I don't have to call my crews and disrupt them in real time. There's many reports in Element Time that are gonna make payroll easier. First is this employee payroll report. You can do this either in a detail view or a simple view. What you're looking at here is the detail view and it's gonna break down every employee's hours by day, by job. And this is what we're gonna use when we export it to QuickBooks for job costing. We're gonna make sure that every payroll hour gets assigned to the job it was worked on so that we know the costs of every job, be it a customer job or be it an internal job. Now, a more simple approach to payroll might use the payroll summary. And here we're just getting total hours by employee by day. And you can set your overtime threshold so that as soon as you cross, in this case, 40 hours, it'll automatically move that extra hours over into overtime. 
or double time if your state has double time hours. Another payroll looking report would be the crew daily log. And this is a report that sort of looks like what the crews might fill out on paper if you were still doing paper timesheets. Shows all the crews or all the employees in the crew that day, whether they took a lunch and what time they took a lunch, and then what jobs and tasks they worked on. And on the right hand side, it's given us a summary of the hours on those jobs. So we can see today's clock in and out, how many hours have been estimated in total for this task, how many were used up to today, and how many are remaining. Finally, we can export all the payroll records to QuickBooks. So in just a few clicks of your mouse, you can create timesheets for all your employees where every single minute of their payroll time is job cost to the jobs that they worked on. And once again, even if it's a job around the shop, like loading and unloading your trucks or working in meetings, we can allocate that time to corresponding jobs in QuickBooks so that you know exactly what you're spending in payroll on those tasks. For those who don't use QuickBooks for payroll, you can certainly generate all kinds of reports that you can export into a payroll application. This, for instance, is a payroll spreadsheet that breaks down each employee's daily hours by regular overtime and double time. You could also do this like the detail report or even break it down by job. Most payroll applications can import spreadsheets for time and therefore you could create paychecks right off your spreadsheet. We also offer an export for paychecks preview users. So if you're a user that uses paychecks preview for your timekeeping, you can go to the exports menu and you can see that you can export a payroll report in a paychecks format that it can import. To keep finding out more information about Element Time, you can go to our website at www.goelement.com.